Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. In last video, I talked about how to convert eight-bit binary to a decimal number. Today, I will talk about how to convert a decimal number to binary. I will use two different methods. Method one is a repeated find and subtract method, and we also need binary table. In last video, binary to decimal, I demonstrate how to build this binary table and what's the pattern for this table. Here, I just assume you are already familiar with this binary table. Let's begin to convert 165 into a 8-bit binary number using method 1. Are you ready? Starting from the left side of the binary table, we are looking for the largest number which is less than or equal to 165. We find that number is 128. We write down 1 on the 128, then we subtract 128 from 165, and we get 37. We will use 37 for next step. We continue to look for the largest number which is less than or equal to 37. 64 is larger than 37, so we skip 64. We find the number 32 is less than or equal to 37, we write down 1 under 32. Then we subtract 32 from 37 and we get 5. We continue to look for the largest number which is less than or equal to 5. Not 16, not 8, we skip them. We find 4 is the number we are looking for. We write down 1 under 4, then we subtract 4 from 5. We get 1. We continue to look for the largest number which is less than or equal to 1. The answer is 1. We write down 1 under 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Once we get 0, we are done. One last step is to fill in the empty cells with the zeros. Thus, 165 is 10100101. We can use the same repeated find and subtract process to convert the rest of three decimal numbers into their binary equivalents. And you can try them yourself. Here are the solutions. For your reference. Method 1 is a little bit tedious. Now let's use method 2 to convert the same number 165 to a binary. The second method is called repeated division by 2 method. We write down the decimal number and continually divide by 2 to give a result and a remainder of either 0 or 1 until the final result equals 0. Let's use this method to convert 165. 165 divided by 2, the result is 82 and the remainder is 1. 82 divided by 2 the result is 41 and the remainder is 0. 41 divided by 2, the result is 20, the remainder is 1. There is a pattern. When an even number divided by 2, the remainder is 0. When an odd number divided by 2, the remainder is 0. 1. 20 divided by 2, the result 
is 10, and the remainder is 0. 10 divided by 2, the result is 5, and the remainder is 0. 5 divided by 2, the result is 2, and the remainder is 1. 2 divided by 2, and result is 1, and remainder is 0. And 1 divided by 2, the result is 0, and the remainder is 1. Now we are done because the result is 0. We stop when the result is 0. On the right side, there are 8 remainders. From a bottom up, there are 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, which is binary equivalent to the decimal number 165. When you write down these remainders, make sure you write them down from the bottom up. One more example, we will convert 58 to a 8-bit binary number. We repeat the same process. 58 divided by 2, the result is 29, and the remainder is a 0. 29 divided by 2, the result is a 14, and the remainder is 1. 14 divided by 2, the result is a 7, and the remainder is a 0. 7 divided by 2, the result is a 3, and the remainder is 1. 3 divided by 2, the result is 1, the remainder is 1. 1 divided by 2, the result is 0, and the remainder is 1. Once the result is 0, we stop. We write down these remainders from the bottom up. They are 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. You can see there's only 6 digits. We add two more zeros to the front to make a 8-bit long binary number. Thus, we get 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. Adding zeros to the front does not change a binary value. I leave 199 and 43 for your practice. Here is the solution for your reference. Knowing how to convert from decimal to binary or from binary to decimal is useful. We will use this knowledge when we are talking about secret of subnet mask, how to calculate the number of hosts, five IP classes, and subnetting. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.